Welcome at this presentation where I will show you how to improve your efficiency by using Peel's Open compliant libraries. Hello, my name is Elke van der Wall and I'm the managing director of the organization Peel's Open and I will guide you through this presentation. The basic document for this presentation is called Creating PLC Open Compliant Libraries and the document you can download from the PLC Open website free of charge. Basically, this document consists of four parts. The first part describes the commonality with existing specifications where we specified function blocks. Think about PLC Open Motion Control, Safety and Communication. The second part introduces the object-oriented features, which helps if you develop your own function block libraries to make that more efficient. However, we also show examples on how to do that in the existing and uh, classical way. And then we have two sections on the different types of function blocks. And basically they are two, the edge triggered and the level controlled. Let us look at the first one, edge triggering. Here you see on the left the textual representation and on the right the graphical representation. The rising edge that executes starts the function block, executing the function blocks. And you will see that on at the busy output. And when it's done with it work, it, the done will be set. If there is no error which and no accompanying error idea. Internally, it has a state machine. And you, here you show, you see the state machine. We will give you the code on how to develop the state machine, how to use this, with the inputs and the outputs. So we give you the basic framework. Now, you do not always want to wait till the execution of the function block is done. Sometimes you want to abort it. So we added an input abort. We added an output aborted, showing that it is aborted. And that adds to the complexity of the state machine, as shown here. On top of that one, we can add timing functionalities. And there are two different timing functionalities. First is the timeout, where we limit the maximum amount of time that can be used for the execution. And the other is a time limit, where we limit the amount of time per cycle that is used for the execution of this functionality. So if you have a larger part that uses more than one cycle, you slice it up and every time you do a certain part within every cycle. And of course, we have the combination of both, time limit, time out. If we add that to the function blocks, it looks like this. Yeah? And you can understand that the state machines get more and more complex. However, we give you the code. It's downloadable. It's part of the document. You can download it separately and you can use it in your application environment. The other function block is level controlled. Level controlled is like your light switch in a room. If you switch it on, it goes on and you switch it off, it goes off. Usage is, for instance, the power of an electronic drive, electric drive. You switch it on and it's on until you switch it off. Yeah. Or there is an error, of course. So you see that in the, in the state machine, there is a state of boarding yeah, in the sense that you disenable it. And also there we can add the timers. Of course, there is not the issue that we abort it. Aborting you do by switching it off. So we add the timers, and on the bottom you see two versions with the C at the end for continuous, meaning that it has no done output. It goes on forever in that sense. Overall, if you structure those and you think about an object orientation approach, think about the inheritance, you see a structure like this for the different uh, function blocks as defined and as you saw. And on the bottom, you, of course, have then the implementations in uh, function block libraries like motion control and safety and communication. We have it for logic, for motion, for safety, and for communications. With all these libraries already, 
that helps you to simplify the development of your application software. And that's part of a development methodology. So you take the existing libraries and you put on top by creating your own libraries with the guidance that is defined in this document and you create your own higher level uh, function blocks with higher level functionalities. That makes the development of your application program much quicker because what you do is you use the instance calls of these higher level functionalities. So you get a small program in that sense. And what we always advise is to put on top of that on a state machine, a consistent state machine, because that gives you a consistent look and feel to you, to your machine or to your production line or to your part of the machine. The example here is based on the PECML uh, state machine from OMAC but it can be any other state machine. This is just to show you how it can look. The document itself, how to create PLC Open compliant libraries, deals with the lower three sections just under your application program. And we advise you to use that part to create your own set of function block libraries which are focused to your application areas, to your markets and you make them available in your company. And with that one, it gets much easier to develop that part. And it gets easier in the maintenance and installation phases. And for that one, PLC Open has provided this whole suite of specifications, um, including XML and training, which were not mentioned in the previous slides. And with that one, we want to be able to provide you with more efficiency in automation. And that's the tagline of PLC Open as an organization. Of course, we need you too. Either your, your knowledge to help us improve the level of the specifications or as a member to support these activities and to make sure that we can continue this in the future. For more information, check of course the website peelshopen.org where you can download this specification but also others free of charge in this case and keep in contact with us. So subscribe to the Peel's Open newsletter and we'll keep you updated on all the new activities that are there. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. There are more movies and there are more movies to come on the different subjects. So keep in contact and thanks. Bye for now.